Early childhood learning really is about the idea that children's learning doesn't start on the first day of school, but on the first day of life, and that the ability for a child to reach his or her innate potential is really based on the idea that you need to start nurturing input from day one so that all children can reach the promise of their promise. I don't think people realize what an outlier we are compared to any other developed nation. I don't think there is any other nation that invests so little in their children and families. And let me just give you an example. The average investment in early care and education in the toddler range, the average for developed nations is about 14,000 per year. You know, if you're one of those Scandinavian countries, you know, $28,000 per year. We come in at a total of $500 per year per child. I mean, it's not even in the same range. What does that mean? It means that millions of parents don't have adequately nurturing environments to place their children if they have to go to work. And we are literally the only one of 38 OECD countries without mandated paid parental leave. One in four parents goes back to work within two weeks of giving birth. There's no comparison. We have been fed this idea that Parenting is, you know, it's all on your shoulders. It's all on me as a parent. And that's just not the way it is or should be. What is the way to push things forward? I actually found a really powerful case in the AARP. You see, when you look half a century ago plus, the poorest, most under, you know, marginalized age demographic wasn't children. Back then, it was the elderly. Because of healthcare costs, the lack of retirement, the elderly, 50% of them, lived below the minimum standards of decency. They were voiceless. But through the AARP and the gray lobby, fast forward, no age demographic is better supported by society. Through Medicare and Social Security, poverty rates have dropped by 70% in the elderly. And in that same way, I think that parents and caregivers and childcare providers need the same thing. They need a collective voice, not just to speak for them, but to you know advance their interests. We have no power in our voice when we speak separately, but the power of bringing our voices together and looking to the left and the right and seeing other parents who ultimately all want the same as you. So much of a child's brain development during the first three years of life occurs without us even seeing it. We don't even realize it. But during those first three years of life, 85% of the physical brain will be grown. The foundation for all thinking and learning is occurring. And the better that foundation, not only does that impact the education of that child. It significantly results in a higher quality workforce. It decreases healthcare costs. We know that investment in early childhood has a positive impact later on to some of the most, you know, common diseases like obesity and heart disease. And it also decreases incarceration rates. So investment in early childhood has the largest return on investment than any time period. By skipping this important time period, you get behind the eight ball. There are two basic sort of tenants that are necessary for children to reach their potential. One is high quality nurturing interaction uh, with a parent or caregiver. And then number two is the idea of protection from toxic stress. So I see critical features of an, a rich early language environment, not only anchoring on what we need to do at an individual level, both parents and caregivers, but really public policies and investments guided by the science of foundational brain development that support parents and caregivers in this important work. I think that child care providers, parents, so many of us, it's been a struggle these last few years and I want them to give themselves grace, know that they are not alone, and that we just need to push forward change in this country so that we can all be supported. Go to parentnation.org, sign up and help push forward change in this country.